Yo, what's good, you guys? Welcome back to another video. How many of you guys remember this spot right here where you can do like a grind to a manual? I used to come here all the time to skate this, but it's like a little bit, like it's kind of far from my house, so I don't really come here a lot anymore. Hopefully this is still like grindable because it's like been super hot, so the wax is like crusted away. But look at how sick this spot is. You can do a ledge trick, right? To a manual right here. I actually have a clip of me doing like 50-50 to manual, front board to manual, and then like 50-50 to manual to kickflip out, which was sick. It's on my Instagram, um, so I'll put that clip in right here. But yeah, I love this spot. Even though this ledge is like kind of high because you have to come at it from this way. I mean, I guess you could come from this way too, but like these cracks right here kind of fuck you up. But yeah, dude, I love this ledge right here. And I'm pretty sure ledge skating would look sick on the GoPro. So pretty sure you guys would like to see that. So uh, I'm gonna warm up and then skate this a little bit. All right, like I said, I need to start warming up before I start filming so I can at least do some good tricks. But I like I like filming my warm ups. You guys get to see like, I don't know, you guys get to see my warm up and everything. And then you get to see me progress. But um, yeah, let's warm up. I have no idea what manuals look like on the GoPro. Oh! Oh my god, this crack right here is dangerous. Oh my god, I keep hitting the damn crack. Ooh. Let's see if I can ollie over this to manual right here. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, that's actually kind of hard. Oh, got it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I can't kick the manual. Oh my God, forget it. All right, I think I'm warmed up enough. It does, honestly, it doesn't really take me that long to warm up, so I'm pretty warmed up. And good thing I had this wax in my backpack because it would have sucked if I came all the way here and not had any wax to skate this ledge. Oh my God, this wax is so small though. Can you guys see that? As soon as I put the wax on, it just like disappears because it's so hot. All right, I have no idea how well this thing is gonna grind, but um, I guess we're gonna find out, huh? I'm gonna try to do uh, that 50-50 to manual again. That was actually really fun. Felt really good too. Like 50-50s are so satisfying, and then doing a 50-50 to a manual feels even more satisfying. Oh, my wax broke. All right, let's see. Um, dude, it keeps breaking, look at that. I'm gonna wax the top of it too. Even though this probably isn't gonna do very much. And just like that, all my wax is gone. RIP wax. All right, uh, let's see how well this grinds. Actually, you know what, let me... Oh, I feel like this isn't gonna grind very well at all. It might though, I think I just have to go fast. Dude, what, look at this, people have skated this. But how, look how tall that is. It's way taller than a board. How do people skate this? Whatever. Okay, it grinds pretty well actually. I know doing front boards on a ledge isn't something that people usually do, but like doing, on, doing it on this is kind of fun because it goes upwards, so it just feels really good. All right, let's try the 50-50 uh, to manual again. Oh! Oh my god, my front wheels touched right at the end. Someone in the comments pointed out that the GoPro videos give you guys like a really good 
view of my foot positioning for when I do certain tricks. Every video is kind of like a trick tip, if you think about it. You can see exactly where my feet go for certain tricks. Like that's a kick flip, that's a tray flip, that's a varial heel, that's a nollie flip, that's a nollie heel. So yeah, pay, pay close attention to my foot position, guys. Oh my God, that 50-50 was so bad, but that was it. All right, I wanna try a 5-0, but it's kind of sketchy because it goes, the ledge kind of goes upwards. So if you lean too far back, you could like slip out. So uh, there, there's that possibility, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh, oh my God, that's so hard. The sun just went behind a cloud. Oh, I got it. That was the hardest 5 0 ever. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna title this video yet, but I might title it like this school is a skate park or something because this school is literally a skate park. I don't know if you guys can see way over there, but there's a loading dock, pretty big one that you can skate off of. There's this ledge to manual. And if you guys have been subscribed for a while, you guys have probably seen this school already, but I know there's a lot of new subscribers, so pretty sure a lot of you guys haven't seen this yet. And there's this, which is like a six stair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stair with a rail. There's lots of those. And then if we keep skating this way, there's a five stair with a rail. There's also these little ledges, but nobody's skated those yet because they're not waxed or anything. So that's already like four spots just in that little area. There's another stair set right here. This one's actually really sick because you can ollie this one and then ollie that one. I might, I might do that actually. No, I'm gonna die again. Actually, there's a seven flat seven or six flat six over there somewhere. And I tried to ollie both of them and I died, I ate shit. Hit that crack right there, cracked my board. I think it's fine. So doing things like that kind of scare me, but if you guys want to see that, if you guys want to see me land it, I might, I might come back and do it one of these days. There's also that spot I just showed you guys where I ate shit. And there's also this thing, which is another like six or seven stair with a rail, but it has this huge crack right here, which kind of sucks. But yeah, this school literally is a skate park. I'm going to take pictures of all of this for a thumbnail. But yeah, this school is literally like so sick. And that's all on the outside of the school. Who knows what's on the inside, but I really want to get on the inside, but look at these like, look at these walls around it. It's like impossible. This facility is under 24 hour surveillance. Oh, I see so many stairs and ledges in there. Oh my God, I have to get in there someday. Dude, oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see this through the GoPro, so I'm gonna film this on my phone and hopefully you guys can see it. There's a stair set right there. There's ledges right there. There's another stair set over there. There's another stair set I can see way in the distance. Dude, look at these ledges that nobody has skated. Oh my God, I gotta find a way in here someday. I've been to this school like four or five times. Every time I come here, I try to find a way inside, but it's literally impossible. Unless I just like go over this wall, but I doubt I can do that. If any of you guys are skaters and you live in Vegas and you've been here before, how do you get inside? Please let me know. All right, but honestly, that's enough skating for right now. When I film these GoPro videos, I have to like skate for like 10, 20 minutes and then just stop because it, it just gets way too hot. So I'm putting in, I'm putting in a lot of work for these videos, man. The GoPro videos are usually spread out through like two or three days of me just skating for like 20 minutes. Honestly, I'll probably keep skating a little bit later on, but if not, I will continue skating tomorrow or whatever. Okay, so some of you guys were freaking out on my Instagram story because I posted this video right here. So my car basically can drive itself, I guess you could say. I, got, I feel like I have to explain this now because people were freaking out, but it has this thing called adaptive cruise control, which basically steers for you and drives for you. So it it pretty much drives itself, guys. So don't worry, it's, it's safe, it's super safe. Look at this, it's going around a turn all by itself. It's a good car, it's a good car. And it'll keep a distance from the car in front of you so you don't like slam in the front of them. I mean, on, in the back of them. See, look at this, it's going around a turn. Hands are off the steering wheel, feet off the pedals. And honestly, it's super relaxing. Like I could just sit here and chill. It's not a Tesla though. It's not as safe as a Tesla, but it still does a pretty good job. I mean, look at this. I, I can just sit here and not have to do anything. Boring. Okay, so someone left a comment and I wish I screenshotted it when I saw it because now I can't find it. But someone said pretty much do a bunch of flat ground tricks with the GoPro on to see how, how all the tricks look, which is a good idea. Obviously, I'm not going to do like every trick that I know, but I thought it would be cool to do like just a bunch of flat ground tricks and just cut it when I'm editing just so like it just shows every single trick. So yeah, I thought that would be cool. So I'm going to 
do that. Also, we're gonna see how well the GoPro does at nighttime in low light. But where I'm at right now, it's actually very well lit, so I'm pretty sure it's not gonna have a problem. But but yeah, here goes a bunch of flat ground tricks. And like I said earlier, you guys can see my foot position like super good with the GoPro on, so pay attention to my foot position when I do these tricks. And I'm gonna have the GoPro angled like straight down because usually I have it angled in a way where you can see me do a trick, but if I raise my head, you guys can see what's in front of me. This time it's just gonna be straight down, so hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, here we go. Let's start off easy with the shove -its and then the kick flips and then the hill flips and then we'll, you know, progress. Oh my God, I'm dying right now, dude. I don't know how many tricks I did so far, but I am dying. I'm so sweaty and I can't breathe, but I really, really want to do a laser flip. So the laser flip is the last trick right now. Whenever I film something like this, where I'm doing a bunch of tricks, I like to just do them back to back to back without taking any breaks, just like continuously do them. But, oh my God, it kills me. Oh, this is a, this is a really good workout, man. All right, but laser flip. Oh. My legs don't even feel connected to my body right now. I think laser flip on the GoPro would look really good. So hopefully I get this like right now. I can't do it. I can't do it. Right here, third time's the charm. Oh, maybe not. All right, this one is the one. As Lizard King would say, for Satan, right here. Shout out Lizard King. Dude, you never die, dude. For Satan, right here. Fuck it. Satan, John. And motherfucking Satan, right here. Yes. One more, one more, one more. Oh. Okay, guys, I'm done. Uh, honestly. I'm way too tired to film an actual outro for this video, but I'm gonna end it. If you guys liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, I love you guys.